I'm Jenny Carlson here with Travis Haney. We're in Lawrence where Oklahoma has defeated Kansas 47-17. This is a Cable Motors OU update. Travis, first of all, even though 30 points difference on the final scoreboard, this was not sort of the easy route that we expected. What what was wrong in the first half especially? I don't know if it was a late kickoff or what went wrong, but it just didn't seem like anybody was on the same page. Offense, defense, even special teams, everything was just a little bit out of whack. It was a seven-point ball game with a minute left in the second quarter. Not like anything what we expected it to be in this game. Eventually kind of got things cleaned up. Defense much better in the second half. Scored here and there, but still some inefficiency in the red zone. A lot to talk about, I think, going forward for the Sooners. Well, one of the points, uh, one of the touchdowns that the Sooners did score in the first half was a Ryan Broyles touchdown that broke broke the NCAA record for career receptions. Big night for Ryan. That was not by, and that was not his last one of the night. Just an impressive mark for him. Where do you sort of place this night for him, and what does this sort of set out there for him in terms of other records he might be able Big to achieve? Night. Thirteen catches, 217 yards, two touchdowns, both of them long including the one that he broke the record on. I think it was a 57-yarder, wide open. Uh, you thought maybe Kansas' secondary would be susceptible to big plays. I think everybody expected it at some point in time. And lo and behold, it happens on the play in which he breaks the record. So 316 was the record. No telling where this is going to stop. I heard you ask Landry Jones over there a few minutes ago about 400 catches and the a prospect of that for – a player on this level in the NCAA, that, that's just incredible to talk about those kind of, as we've said, video game numbers uh, in this offense. Uh, as, as we wrote about this week, a lot of things have gone into it, and you kind of saw some of those things tonight. The offense, Landry Jones, uh, tonight a bad Kansas defense uh, helping him out, but a big, big night for Ryan. Well, Ryan Broyles has a big night. Another guy who had a big night was Dom Whaley, but it was kind of quietly. How does this guy have the kind of numbers he had tonight, and it's a quiet night? Yeah, we were over there talking to him, and I'm thinking, this was a career night for you, and we're really not talking about it at all. 30 carries, so he was in there a bit more. They tried to run some clock there in the second half. 165 or so yards. I mean, this was a breakout game in a lot of senses for him, but you just you did not feel like it was. And, and maybe it was the big plays for Broyles in the offense in terms of the passing game, sort of overshadowing him. We're talking about the red zone problems and the hiccups they had, kicking short field goals. If he'd punched a couple more of those in, maybe we're talking about the Dom Whaley show instead. It's just a very good game in the kind of this cloud of, of what went wrong or why wasn't this more of a blowout than it actually was. Well, lastly, let's talk about those red zone problems because a lot more field goals than the Sooners were hoping to have. They got in there a lot but weren't able to, to punch it in. Is this? Uh, can we now qualify this as a problem, or, or how do you sort of? What do you put your finger on all of this? And Landry mentioned to me a minute ago and told a couple of us that national title teams that play and win national titles, they score touchdowns in those situations. So when you're going up against a big time opponent in a top five kind of game, you've got to punch it in. And I think a lot of the issues are between the tackle running. Can you have that power formation, the eye formation stuff? Use Trey Miller. Get behind him get behind those big offensive linemen, get in the end zone. It's just not happening right now, and, and I think it's just an execution thing. That was something a lot of the players mentioned to us. Uh, I don't know how you correct it because we're six games in now. I, I think that's an issue too. And as uh, Mike Baldwin, our partner, said upstairs, if you can't do it against Kansas, who can you do it against? I don't think there's a whole lot of people. Hey, we'll be following that and everything else related to the Sooners on News OK. Be sure to stay with us and the best coverage team every day in the Oklahoman 94.1.